It's time for another edition of Top Science News. Here are the top stories from August from our daily morning news and more. Let's begin with the discovery of a super magnetic dwarf, a rogue object 20 light years away, only slightly further than Shoal's star binary which came through our solar system 70,000 years ago, makes you wonder how many more are yet to be found. Of course, August brings the best meteor showers of the year as the Perseids peak just before mid-month. Hopefully you got some visibility of those. Up next, star water. The discovery of water streaming away from young stars in a process that may be common, if not ubiquitous, is indicative of the long-standing observer's position that water is everywhere, especially the planets. While Earth has a slice of a percent of it as water mass, we've learned that many planets are up to 50% water. One thing's for sure, E.T.'s not coming here for our polluted liquid. We learned firsthand how angry people can get when you forecast a hurricane when your local officials are saying it's going to miss, even if that hurricane does indeed hit six days later. Thoughts and prayers go to the hard-hit parts of Hawaii where feet of rain fell in some areas. It was about two weeks earlier that we had noted the atmosphere shifting. This not only told us about the storm tracks, but that earthquakes were about to get bad. After going almost six months without a magnitude 7 event, four of them, including an 8.2, struck around the ring of fire. Looking at the broader scale, there were 23 total magnitude 6 earthquakes in the month of August, which is not only a wild increase from the 17 we had the previous three months, but those months' top events were 6.9, 6.4. Earthquake uptick probably not going to stop in September. Unquestionably, the most baffling image of the month came from deep space as a donut around the unseen axis of a core jet resembling a smoke ring at worst, and an electromagnetic torus hypothesis can't help but creep into one's head at best. We saw Dr. Tinsley continue to demonstrate the electric coupling potential of space weather with the polar atmosphere. He is our featured speaker at the 2019 OTF conference, and we also learned that the southern waters are not the carbon sink that they were thought to be. And for such a large carbon negative model to have to change to be a contributor really cuts back on that which is in the air due to human activity. More on that topic in a moment. Many people think the top story of the month came from an international team out of Australia, China, and Taiwan. Just like the previous studies by Occidental, the USGS, and Berkeley, this group found it possible for magnetic reversals on Earth to take less than 100 years to complete. After tens to hundreds of thousands of years between them, we are now over 100 years into the current reversal and things are speeding up. Cosmology this month largely favored covert matter and related dust and electric hypotheses, Two articles on cosmic disks showed electrical effects to the stability and formation of those structures. One of them discusses an unseen force related to the magnetic fields at the core, while the other one is expressly calling it an electric hall effect, an electric sheet, an electric field. We already know that's the case with the solar wind current sheets. We saw two titanic dark matter searches fail once again, Xmas and Super CDMS coming up empty once more. Just like last month's indirect detection attempts we shared, they are trying to get creative and that is their strong suit, it is just that they're chasing ghosts. For the veteran observers who know the covert matter hypothesis is our name for the stuff we're just really bad at seeing or is hidden by other matter, but got to admit dark gas really isn't a bad name for the molecular hydrogen aspect of it. Things like this require grand scale reconsiderations as tiny changes inflate to big sweeping reform on the large scales of the cosmos. Dust cannot be forgotten in these examinations, especially where it can mix with plasma in space. This might be why we're so bad at spotting normal matter out there. Dusty plasma can form structure and even crystalline structure. We're looking through billions of light years with our visibility potentially skewed and misinformed at every turn. Lastly, folks, our three video facts release unwound and thus far not a single substantive retort to parts one and three exist. I really thought some global warming folks would have buck and gagged me by now. But maybe they've watched part two, which I didn't expect to be a one-link response to all trolls and negative comments about this community, but it really, really is. If you don't know why this is the top citizen scientist group on Earth, watch part two. As with all these recap episodes, you can find the links to the relevant videos and to the total list of recaps just below this video here on YouTube. We hit the sun, earth, space, and science 365 days a year right here. Whenever you're watching this, I'll see you tomorrow morning for the update. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.